Assalamu alaikum. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, today I'll be talking about art supplies being a novice or amateur's uh, trap uh, as an artist. And yeah, it's a big topic and it's something I've noticed along my way back also when I had social media. I was surprised that it also came to me because I'm not that well known. But um, people who do look at artists, especially those who are starting to establish their uh, footing in the art world and if they really like their illustration the first thing which a lot of you might have heard uh, artists ask is what tool are you using what brush is that what paint is that what pen is that what paper is that and many more <laughs> if you're doing a video they'll ask what camera are you using you know all of those those aren't necessarily bad but they can be a distraction and that was the main purpose of the letter which I'm uh, I've written recently a letter on it's more like a blog post on my website on this becoming a trap for us artists who are starting to get into the art world and before I move on the image I am uh, showing you right now if you're watching this is of another image that I uh, am, I mean illustration that I did with the pilots Kakuno fountain pen and This time I've done watercolor painting first for the night galaxy sky the starry night sky and then I'm doing ink on the main elements in the image uh, because that's not water resistant, but I use again the water, non water resistant properties to blend and make shadows for the illustration. And yeah, well, um, you can just watch and listen, or you can just work on your projects, it's all up to you, of course. And so, going back to the art supply being a distraction, it is nice and it can be important, but it's not that important. The main thing I want to emphasize is that we need to stop getting distracted with the art supplies. Um, I've seen this a lot. Uh, it can be a major distraction. I have seen those who have a massive haul of art supplies, but haven't improved for a while in their artistic skills and they just continue on buying new art supplies and I see that as a shame because if they would focus on improving their artistic skills rather than focusing on art supplies it would make a huge difference. Art supply is just a tool and a tool is a tool. It doesn't guarantee you success. Your mind and skills guarantees your success, not the tools. Just whichever tool you have we all have tools and it would be great if we focus on that tool which we have and you know the fact that we have the cert that certain tool uh, means a lot like use what you have at your disposal and master it become a master of that artistic skills I mean and artistic tools not just skills but tools which you already have uh, instead of getting distracted with the new art supply and you'll see wonders like a lot of doors will open up for you in your artistic journey and foundation is always always important in anything even in relationships even in marriage even in education even in art once you know that you have um, what do you say um, I'm trying to think of the English word. Once you know that you have mastered, let's use the generic word mastered, the foundation of art, then you can go anywhere you like. That main master key is the foundation knowledge. If you have the foundation, you can do anything. So recently I've been studying Braille for fun. I went online and I looked at the braille so braille is the language system which um 
not language specifically, but I'm using the term language loosely uh, for blind people or visually impaired people. You know those tactile letters, the dot system they touch to read? Uh, that's a braille system. And so I've learned the alphabets of braille, the English alphabets. And just by learning that foundation in a day, I literally felt the whole world opening up in front of me. Like I felt that I had this new foundational skill that can take me to places which I never could have gone to. I really felt that. By the way, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I learned Braille because I was bored and because I always had an interest in Braille. And so I was like, why not? <laughs> Even though it seems to be very unrelated to art or illustration, it, it won't harm anyone. So I've learned Braille and that really hammered in that feeling, that experience of just learning and mastering the foundation brings a huge difference into your life. So next time, instead of focusing on a new art supply, why not focus on mastering your foundation? It doesn't have to be with art, it can be with the work or job your aunt or whatever you do. So let's say I used to work at the museum and I used to sometimes spend time in the gift shop. And so for the gift shop people, it would be customer service or communication, how you communicate and greet customers. And so the thing which would be great to um, master in terms of foundation would be communication. How, how you communicate, the body language, your tone, the smiles, uh, the ability to instantly connect with people you've just met. Don't just um, do the general greeting, go deeper. Uh, there was a really famous talk of a coffee lady at the airport and I will put in the link below of this video so you can watch it. Uh, it was something about the speaker never forgetting that cup of coffee because of how the lady talked to him. Like she, she talked as if she really cared and I'm sure she really did care. And she mentioned that her job wasn't making coffee, even though she was serving coffee. It was something else. I need to watch that again, but it was so deep or what she did, like the way she communicated with her customers was so profound and so deep to the heart level that he started telling the story to many people, hundreds of people, thousands of people. And it really hammered down the point that it's not just, you know, doing what you have to do. It's more about putting depth into what you do and purpose into what you do. And that was a beautiful talk. I will put the link in the description below and you can see the talk and experience what he went through by communicating with that lady. And so if you're in a hospitality uh, sector of work, the, you know, human connection, uh, focusing on connecting with people, honesty, truthfulness, that really takes you a long, long way. And it just shows you don't have to have the best makeup or the best clothes or the best shoes, you know? You don't have to have flawless skin, flawless teeth, whatever. It's not about that outward exterior, the appearance. It's more about the inner, deeper thing, the deeper foundational skills, which really, really matters. And so <laughs> this is also a reminder for myself. Having new art supply is a really nice treat for yourself, as long as you uh, treat it as your treat, you know, not every day or every month. I don't think there's anyone who buys new art supplies every day, but not every month or so. Once a year might be too far of a stretch. I'm not sure, but for me, it's once a year. <laughs> it's usually once a year for me to get an art supply, um, but it makes it that, that much more 
special. And so if you have a hoard of art supplies in your closet, don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, that's your journey. And that means you deserve that. You deserve all of those art supplies which you have. And now master them. Master your foundation. If you're doing art, master your foundation in art. Then master those tools and then build upon that. And if you have, let's say, five different art supply, I'm sure it might take longer than a year to master those five different art supplies, uh, depending on how much time you spend each day on mastering those art supplies. And so yeah, I have one main watercolor paint, which is Kuretake Gansai Tambi, which I used for this painting, which I'm uh, illustrating on. Um, but I have seen many others who have way more expensive uh, watercolor paints, but they haven't spent their time in mastering their art, the foundation of art. So the colors are nice, but the colors aren't used to the depth of what they can be used. And it might be hard to explain this, so I might make a demonstration video for you so you can see what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, I'd like to close off this short video on being careful of the trap of art supplies and focusing on foundational skills in whatever you do. And hmm, I will, yes. I'm sure I will do a new video on what I mean by using your tools to the fullest. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time listening or watching to this and hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye.